In this video, I will introduce the verb that we use when we are not certain of something. This verb, we call it Adunnu. Adunnu. Let's get started. So again, this verb, it has to follow by the particle Anna. Adunnu Anna. All the time, it has to follow by a noun or a pronoun. So the verb adunnu, it has to follow by a noun or by a pronoun, either or. And I, I will explain that right now. For example, Aina Elizabeth. You are not sure where's Elizabeth. You are not sure where's Elizabeth. So you may give me two answers. The first answer, you can say, أظنّ أنها في المدرسة. Here, I'm using a pronoun that follows أظنّ. أظنّ أنها في المدرسة. Another answer, it could be, أظنّ أن Elizabeth في المدرسة. So, you have two ways to answer. You could use أظنّ, it has to follow by a pronoun, or the second part, it could follow by a noun. One more time. Aina Elizabeth. You could you could say Adunnu Annaha fi al Madrasa. The other option Adunnu Anna Elizabeth fi al Madrasa. Both answers are correct. Let's do more examples. Adunnu Anna New York Medina Kabira. أظنّ أنها مدينة كبيرة. So you, again, the, the verb أظنّ it could follow by a pronoun or by a noun. أظنّ أن New York he is followed by a noun. أظنّ أنها مدينة كبيرة. Why أنها? Because مدينة is a feminine. That's why we suffix ها ألف. So you have two options. أظنّ it could follow by a noun or by a pronoun. Another question. Aina al Ustad. Aina al Ustad. Adunnu Anna al Ustad Fisaf. This is a noun. Adunnu Annahu fi asaf. This is a pronoun. Now it's your turn. Answer my question. Aynal Ustada to Maha. Where is Maha? Where is your teacher Maha? Think of the answers. I'll give you five seconds. Let's see. You can say Avunnu Anna Al Ustada Maha fi al bait. Another answer Avunnu. أنها في البيت. It could follow again by a noun or by a pronoun. Whatever you like. Both answers are correct. Now I have another question for you. كيف الطقس اليوم? I'm asking you about الطقس. Think of an answer for five seconds. Ready? You can say أظنّ أن الطقس جميل or you can use a pronoun أظنّ أنه جميل Another question أين حقيبتك؟ أين حقيبتك؟ What do you think? Another five seconds Okay. أظن أن حقيبتي في البيت. أظن أنها في البيت. I just want uh, to remind you of something before I finish this uh, PowerPoint. When we say أين حقيبتك أظن أنها 
fil-bayt. Remember, haqiba is feminine. That's why we suffix ha alif. Kayf al-taqs il-yawm? Al-taqs is masculine. That's why adhunnu annahu jameel. So if your noun or if your object is masculine, you use annahu. If your noun or if your uh, object is feminine, you use ha alif. Haqiba is feminine. So ha alif. Al-taqs is masculine for that reason. Ha. Just pay attention. If your noun is feminine, ha alif. If your noun is masculine, we use ha.